Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and today I'm going to show you how to do a project that is perhaps the original decoupage. We're going to be using silver leaf over a box that I found in the Goodwill store, and I'm guessing this was a jewelry box. You can see it's still got the Goodwill stickers on it. You would want to paint the inside of this first if you're going to paint the inside at all. I left the inside just the way it is just because I just want to focus on the outside for you guys today. So what I did was I took this old box and I wiped it down with some alcohol first inside and out just to clean it up and then I began to just file away some of these rough surfaces. Now if you have a sticky label on here all you have to do is put really hot water on a rag let it sit on there for a moment and just wipe that away. I used a nail file to get into all of these spots and you can see this is a coarse nail file and I'm removing all of this excess stuff from the top. Then I took a little more alcohol, wiped everything down, and now I began to work. Now because I have had problems in the past, a lot of problems with water-based gilding, I'm using an oil-based gilding. This is available on my website. It doesn't have free shipping, it's a little expensive, and to be honest, I bought this on eBay. And I'm having much, much better luck with this oil-based product. It does need to be used in an area where you've got good ventilation, and it's okay to apply it with a sponge brush, but it's also really important that you get that filing or sanding done and clear the whole surface off because this does need to be nice and smooth before you put this on. Now I put the tape on those metal pieces because originally I was not going to cover those and I wanted to show you that if you've got some areas that you don't want the silver leafing on, you could just cover them with the low tack tape. But the main reason for using the oil based product was because I found that it was tacky within minutes and it also has an open dry time which means it's not going to dry out in one area while you're still working in the other, which has been a big problem with me in the past when I use the water-based products, the water-based sizing. So you want to make sure you use your paper as often as you can. Your fingers can start to get sticky after a while. They can pull up the aluminum sizing. This is aluminum, by the way. And just press everything down with the paper. And all I'm going to do is keep repeating these steps all around the box. And I am going to overlap a little bit. And don't worry about the extra pieces for now that are going to be hanging off of the sides or the corners or if you miss some spaces. And one other trick so that you don't have the top stick to the bottom while you're working, you can put a paintbrush in there and continue to do your work this way. And I also want you to notice I put that sizing around the whole box. So rather than just work in sections at a time, I put the sizing everywhere around the box. The sizing is the quick dry oil base gilding size. Now I put it everywhere around the box, use the paper as often as I could. Now while you're doing this, you can get discouraged because it can look really messy and you think this isn't going to turn out okay, but it does, I'll show you in the end, it's kind of got an antique silver look to it, even though it's really shiny and elegant. It's a little bit scratched up and vintage looking. I personally love the look. So I'm just going to show you how I just go around the rest of the box following these same steps and then I'll show you the very next step. You can also paint this whole box a gray or silver color before you start this process. That way, if you've got any openings uh, left anywhere around the box, it won't be quite as visible. I wanted to go for a little bit more of a vintage scratched up look, so I didn't paint the box. I just left it the way it is. Stay 
So you see I'm removing the tape right here. I tried to paint that and I didn't care for it at all. So I'm going to silver leaf that and I'm taking the fan brush and I'm taking away all of that excess silver leafing. Now you can see this is a very messy product, uh, project rather, and there are some spots like right there where I took the sizing and I put it right over the spot and it's okay to do this. You can add the silver leaf almost right away and it, it looks fine. You just brush it down and again, that excess silver pulls away. And then I also wanted to show you something around the inside rim here. I did not do a very good job of filing or sanding. So I took this Viva Decor metallic silver paint and it is beautiful. If the bottle wasn't so small, I would have painted the whole box with this. But you can use this along the uh, trim areas and it's got a really beautiful metallic finish that you can use just to touch up certain areas. And when you're done, you can take your paintbrush and dip it in 91% alcohol a few times and rub it off on some paper towels. And finally, this next step is optional. I've completed the whole outside of the box and I'm putting a clear coat of shellac over this. You want to be careful if you're using gold foil, you may need to do a little more research. Some top coats or shellacs will cause your gold foil to tarnish. That's not the case here. So I'm going to cover this in a clear shellac, the whole surface. And if this is stationary, something for you, this uh, project that you're not going to be using a lot or moving around, you can skip this step. I just want to make sure I protect this because I will be using this jewelry box a lot. So I'm going to cover this whole surface. And here's how our project looks now that everything is dried and completed. And I am quite happy with the way this turned out, considering how it looked in the beginning. But I just love the look of this anyway. It looks very Victorian, vintage, old fashioned to me. And for me, it's a perfect place to keep all of my glittery jewelry and my pearls. Here it is in a different light. Here's the top of it so you can see the uh, look of it in a different, during a different time of the day. And in the meantime, guys, Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you'd like to go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. I have a website called Upcycle with Decoupage that you can go to and look at uh, different projects and products. And I am always available to help you. It's taking me three or four days to get back to you. Here's the original product again quite a difference going from this to this. So I hope you like the project. I hope you like that I use the oil sizing, which seemed to make all the difference in the world to me. And I am happy to help you out. If you've got some questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for subscribing. Just click on the scissor icon in the bottom right corner of this video and it will allow you to subscribe. Thank you for that. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.